This is a short demonstration video on the different output options you have for your 3D virtual samples. Here you'll see on the screen in the visualizer a custom cap we've created for Visa. This was using different components but it's any 3D sample created in any way. On the top left hand corner of the screen we have the ability to create a PDF print sheet, the ability to save a 3D sample for customers to look at in a browser, or the ability to take a 2D snapshot. So if you position the cap, if you want to do a snapshot in exactly the position that you'd like the snapshot to be, so maybe like that, and we click create snapshot, we're going to call this one the Visa custom cap, and hit OK, and it brings up your dialog, and in this case I'm going to save it in a, a folder called pictures, Obviously you can save it anywhere on your desktop that you want. And we'll hit save. So that's now saved. That we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. The next thing we might choose to do is save the virtual sample in our sample manager. So we'll click there and it would say, well, where would you like to save it? So we can either create a new category. So we'll call that one. I can create the new category if I want to or choose one of the existing ones, hit save and we'll look at the output options for that in a moment. And the virtual sample is saved and then we hit create PDF print sheet. So this goes through now, takes a snapshot of the cap from a variety of different angles and again it prompts us for a name so we'll call that these custom cap. OK. And again it'll let us save so we'll choose that location there now. So now I've created the three output options. If I go to sample manager which will appear on your screen now um, we can choose the different options down here. So if we chose custom cap, it would show us the ones we'd created and it would allow me to email the cap to somebody. Uh, I could choose the settings for that cap so I could allow them to approve it as a proof, swap out the logo themselves, do a full personalization or neither. Hit OK. I could decide whether it has social links and whether it auto rotates and whether it allows them to do a further screenshot. So we're just going to say OK. And what that then does is allows me to email it. So if I click on there, it would put the link straight into an email. If I click on link, it would allow the creation of that link. And obviously if that link was then pasted into any browser, that would, in essence, you know, show the 3D sample that we've just seen auto-rotating. Let's see if we can just do a quick demonstration of that by opening up a new tab. So we'll click enter there now. And the 3D sample will appear about in this instance slightly off the screen. So you can see that rotating now. Not a perfect presentation. Um, if we go back to sample manager the other thing we might choose to do is go and take a quick look at the pictures folder where we created the 2D shot. And I'll drag this down in. So we created the 2D custom cap and the PDF print sheet, which you can see both there. So if we just take a quick look at the PDF print sheet, which opens up on our screen, and let me just drag that into your view. It tells me there. And this is just because it's in preview mode, that line's come across there now. So it's a custom specification for the cap. It gives the cap, shows the picture of the cap from the different angles. And if we then click on there, like so, it will give us the 2D screenshot, which we took earlier. So that's the output options you've got from your or Easy Promo 3D, either standard virtual sample or custom cap.